I'm sitting down with Jacques Telemach here at Sundance 2016. Jacques is a filmmaker and producer and the founder of a well-known organization called Filmmakers Alliance. Uh, Jacques, what brings you out to Sundance this year? Um, a few things, actually. And uh, the main one being that I would just come anyway. It's, for me, like the premier independent film uh, event, sort of like a convention. And you reconnect with people and you make new relationships and you get to see new work and like there's a lot of reasons to be here even if you don't have a specific agenda. I'm directing a film, directing and producing a film in um, this coming year and so I had to meet with a couple of actresses that we want to be in the film and I had to meet with some of the money people involved and um, and the producers of my film had a film here called Anti-Birth and um, so you know came to support them and for us to strategize and all that kind of stuff and then on t top of it you know for filmmakers lines you know I have to sort of talk to sponsors and talk to filmmakers who are part of the community and sort of plan and plot the coming year um, it's easy to do it here because everybody's here you know so I do it all in one fell swoop um, and have them face to face so those were really the two primary reasons that I was up here so, Jacques, any uh, new sort of trends or anything different about uh, Sundance this year that you haven't seen in years past, or is there a theme that is uh, emerging? Um, <clears throat> the most arresting thing that I noticed was the emphasis on, or the obsession with v VR, virtual reality, and other forms of sort of interactive, uh, immersive, you know, uh, I won't call it filmmaking yet. It's because it's, it's, they're still playing with it. It's totally in its infancy, and but they're trying to get storytellers to start thinking about how to use this technology and uh, integrate it into the, the the way they tell stories. And but it was everywhere. Like every, you went to just go get a coffee, and there's a VR headset sitting there, and like it was a little ridiculous actually. But but it was fun, you know. And that was like the main thing that I saw all around the festival um, in terms of like storytelling themes. I didn't hear or see uh, of anything that, you know, there was a lot of, as usual, a lot of eclectic uh, ideas and nothing specific, no strain of thing that I saw. You know, I thought it was amazing that, you know, Birth of Nation sold for a bazillion dollars. Um, but that, you know, there's always a one-off story that at Sundance that's amazing. Everyone thinks, oh, it's a shift in things. No, it's just happened and good for them. Okay, so this is the Cinematography Podcast, so I have to ask you then, if of any of the movies or anything that you've seen had a particular striking visual style or anything that uh, really, the cinematography, the look of the movies stood out to you? That's a good question. Um, you know, I'm more of a story-driven guy. Like, visuals are really important to me when I'm making a film, but when I'm watching a film, I don't obsess on it too much. But I did find that uh, I saw this film, Eyes of My Mother, uh, that I thought was really striking. I mean, to be honest, I had issues with the storytelling, um, but the the way the way he conceived it in black and white, and the way it was lit with a lot of depth and texture, and and uh, in the Q and A, uh, the filmmaker was talking about some of the techniques he used, which I thought were really cool, like to get this like soft night overhead thing. He used a drone, like he lit it with a drone. <laughs> which I didn't know you could do, like hold it, hold it, hold it stable. And, uh, and um, so he did things like that. He used a drone quite a bit for a film you would never expect to use a drone for. So it was really a cool way of thinking about, you know, using the tools that are out there for things that you don't typically use it for. I mean, there's an intimate, very dark, but intimate story that had a lot of very interesting camera movement and, and lighting that was created by the use of a drone, which, which is a cool idea. Jacques, thanks so much for sitting down for a few minutes. <laughs> My pleasure, thanks for having me. <laughs> this group of filmmakers um, are incredible. I endorse them by being here, that's, that's why I wanted to come. I think as an example, they are perfect. I've been talking all day doing interviews trying to plug this organization, which is an extraordinarily important organization. So first of all, I just want to say I'm very glad to be here tonight uh, in support of the Filmmakers Alliance and the DGA. Um, you can't make a movie alone. You need community, you need trust, 